Hi, this is one of my first challenges for you and for myself. Or let's be honest, this is kind of a cold email that I'm sending to all of the offices out there which are listening, only in a video form. So if you own a large office, a large company, if you're dealing with complex projects like airports, malls, skyscrapers, or hopefully something more humane but still relatively difficult to build, you have to handle all this complexity, thousands and thousands and thousands of structural elements and all those fabrication drawings and lists and 3D geometry and statical models. You can easily have hundreds of thousands of production drawings in a project like that. Well, I have an offer for you and all I ask of you is honesty and an open mind. So, you got the project, you won a competition, you used your connections, offered the lowest price or you offered a high price but you're a star architect or a famous company so people went with you. Whatever the case is, congratulations, none of those things are easy to achieve. Now, you have a budget and a plan. You have your managers and your organizers and you figured you need to employ a certain number of people. 10, 20, 30 or maybe 100. Some will deal with 3D geometry, some with lists, some with HR. A lot of them will be managers that travel, sit on meetings, negotiate. Whatever your idea is, this is my offer. Tell me honestly the number of people you plan to employ and tell me your budget. How much are you ready to spend to make this project of yours be realized? From the idea, from the sketch to the phase where all plans are complete and the only thing left is the actual building process. My offer and my challenge is this. Let me take it over. We will do it with maximum 30% of the people you planned. We will do it with maximum 30% of the budget you planned. You can keep the 70%. I promise this to you and to myself. Why? Because I believe in automation. I believe that every building has a personality and I believe that there is an algorithm behind every personality. So how am I going to manage what I promised? Well, you don't expect me to tell you the secret, don't you? I know you don't, because that's what our capitalistic system is based on, isn't it? Keeping secrets, competing, tripping each other, but I don't like the system, so I will tell you my secret or give you a hint. And it's no secret really, it's simple logic. Don't work hard, work smart. That's the secret. Okay, don't feel cheated, I will elaborate. This is what we will do. We will create a basic structure, a parametric skeleton. Then we will use this skeleton as a base to program and automate everything else. We will generate the entire 3D geometry automatically. We will generate all the 2D production drawings with all dimensions and descriptions and unique names and title blocks automatically. 100,000 of them, no problem. We will generate the assembly and installation drawings automatically generate the statical model automatically we will generate thousands of statical models and calculate them in a loop in order to optimize them again automatically we will create the cnc files in an automated process and all the needed lists wait aren't we going to kill a lot of jobs in this manner well yes we are when technology comes professions die out but sometimes new more creative ones open up so I invite all those that are afraid to join us on this automation wave. Let us create more stunning architecture, more efficient, cheaper, sustainable. Come on, don't upset me anymore with your conservative attitude. If you don't ride the wave, your competition will. So, if you're listening out there, yes, you, Bjark Engels, Sir Norman Foster, or the CEO of a big building company, I know what you're thinking. You're going to ignore me, you're going to ignore us this new wave of small parametric engineering offices. You will create your own team inside, keep everything in house because there will always be people ready to give up their freedom for the nine to five secure way of life. People that know how to program and automate that will accept working for you so that you can ignore us. I get it. Maybe I would have done the same if I was you. I mean, how can we compete with the big ones, right? Capitalism is the name of the game and the winner takes it all. But you see, I believe we can compete. I believe I still can challenge you. I still can dare you to accept the offer because your size is not your strength, it's your weakness. You have too many managers, you know that. You have too many people that do nothing except sit on endless meetings. Too many people not passionate about their work. Let me remind you of the Heracles quote about soldiers in the battle. Out of every 100 men, 10 shouldn't even be there. 80 are just targets. Nine are the real fighters and we're lucky to have them for they make the battle. Ah, but that one, one is a warrior and he will bring the others back. Does this ring a bell? 
This is the same thing that Jordan Peterson talks about when he talks about the exponential growth of incompetence. In a 10-people company, 3 do 50% of the work. In a 100-people company, 10 do 50% of the work, and so on. You know this is true, and that's why we, the small ones, can be more effective than you. That's why we can do the same thing you can with a fraction of your budget and a fraction of people. A third industrial revolution is on its way. Decentralization is the name of the game. An efficient, connected network of nodes instead of inefficient giants. I don't ask of anyone to believe anything I say. Talk is cheap. Accept the challenge and let's put some code on the table. I'm waiting. We're waiting. There's nothing for you to lose and everything to gain.